we'll run the hypothesis test and we see how we get how we get on okay so the hypothesis test itself so the hypothesis the hypothesis test okay in this case has five stages okay so we've got five steps that we need to follow the first thing that we need to define is our hypothesis okay uh, and don't forget that the hypothesis uh, is a statement about the population parameter okay now let's think about it so it's going to have a null position h0 and it's going to have an alternative position ha okay now in this case here i want to ascertain so this is like a sing this is actually a single sam a single sided a single tail test i want to ascertain yeah whether there's evidence okay whether there's evidence to suggest okay is there evidence to suggest okay uh, that the average difference yeah okay okay has reduced okay in other words if this average distance is negative yeah that would be evidence to suggest that there was a reduction okay so the null hypothesis is going to be that there's no difference between the before and the after measure so the null hypothesis is going to be that mu okay of the difference in other words the population that these particular two measures have been taken from okay that there's no difference between the before and after measures in other words the null hypothesis is going to be that mu d is equal to is equal to zero okay so it's going to be zero now i want to ascertain whether it has been a significant change and more importantly a reduction so actually i want to ascertain whether this difference on average is negative okay negative meaning that there has been a reduction so actually my alternative is going to be that mu d okay is less than is less than zero okay so my null position is going to be that mu d is actually greater than or equal to zero so that's my hypothesis okay uh, don't forget from an, and when we do our inferential step if we can okay when we reject okay if we do reject what we're going to suggest and what we're going to infer is that there's evidence to suggest that the average difference in the population is less than zero in other words the average distance is negative yeah and by your argument here is if the average difference is negative that's an indication that there was a reduction okay Step two is to define the significance level, the significance level of this test, and we're just going to do this at the 5% significance level. So we're going to set alpha is equal to 0 0.05. That's the 5% significance level. Step three is we construct our test statistic. Okay, so our test statistic, okay, and uh, well our test statistic is a t statistic. T is equal to, it's the average difference yeah that we've observed okay it's the average difference of the of the evidence minus what we hypothesize the difference to be okay divided by the standard deviation the sample standard deviation of these differences over the square root of n okay now we've already we've already calculated these values okay so that tells us now that our test statistic t is equal to well the average distance yeah okay of the evidence is minus 3.625 and i need to take away from that okay, okay what we're hypothesizing the difference to be okay and we're hypothesizing the difference to be okay is to be greater than or equal to zero okay uh, actually the lower bound of this is that it's actually equal to zero so we're hypothesizing the difference to be to be zero okay or at mo at, at least zero okay so we're going to divide that now by the standard deviation which is 4.84 which needs to be divided by the square root of the sample size and in our case here as we've already said the sample size is equal to eight so that needs to be divided by the square root of eight okay and so our test statistic okay, our t value t is going to be equal to you can actually see it's going to be negative yeah because minus 3.625 minus zero is minus 3.625 so let's do that so it's going to be minus 3.625 that needs to be don't forget when we divide by a fraction is the same as inverting and multiplying okay uh, so once again it's the same as inverting this and multiplying so i'm going to divide by 4.8 divide by 4.84 and i'm going to multiply by the square root the square root of eight so our test statistic is minus 2.13 approximately so it's minus 2.13 in other words the evidence okay the before and after measures okay there seems to be a reduction of minus 2.13 standard units okay so that's that's our test statistic okay and now what we need to do is we need to we need to calculate our critical values okay so step four is to calculate the critical values okay the critical values okay so 
let's let's see it from a distribution perspective. So from a distribution perspective, okay, here's our distribution. Let's say that's our t distribution. It's centered on zero, okay. If there's no difference between the before and after measure, okay, if there's no difference between the before and after measure, these differences should all be zero. In which case, the sum of the differences should be zero, and also, which in which case, the average of the differences should be zero. So that should give us zero minus zero, which will be zero, divided by any number. The test statistic should be equal to zero if there's no difference, okay? okay? So the test statistic should be somewhere in here if there's no difference. If the test statistic is negative, okay, that indicates that this has been a reduction. If the test statistic is positive, that means that there's been an increase. Okay? We're only interested in the hypothesis of there being a reduction. Okay? In other words, that the intervention between the start of the month and the end of the month had a positive effect in relation to reducing crime rates. Okay? So this is a one-sided tail. This is a one-sided test. Okay? So this is a single tail test. test okay? And actually, more importantly, it is a left, a left tail a left tail test, okay? I want to show that my test statistic is sufficiently far away from where it would be under the null position, 